Okay, so today we are gonna go over how to create the look from the popular show Physical, and I'm going to go over the steps to go from this look to this look. So let's jump right in. Okay, so we're gonna go over how to create this look. If you haven't seen it, it's a really good show, well shot, the cinematography is uh, looks great, and it's got this kind of California 1980s, very kind of stylized gray to it. The show definitely has a look with a lot of kind of washed out shadows and it's a very stylized, a lot of warm tones, a lot of kind of misty highlights like you see back here. I've created this uh, no tree and I've pre-graded this shot. Um, and I'm gonna go over step by step what I did through each node. Okay, so the first thing I did is the base adjustment, which you can see here. And if I turn that on, it's that adjustment. So again, it was before after and it was actually a pretty minor adjustment because this shot already looks uh, pretty good and all that was was in the hdr tools i came over here into the darker portions of the shot and i lowered the exposure a little bit um, and honestly that was it along with the overall global exposure i brought that down as well so here you can see that and that just gives us this basic you know a little bit brighter darker look and then the shadow's a little bit heavier. And what I did, if I go to full screen, you can see I just raised the shadows because the show does have, like I said, kind of very washed out, kind of milky shadows to it. And the way I did that was in the shadows, um, I brought the darker areas up a little bit. In this one here, I did bring down the exposure quite a bit. And then I just kind of, as you typically do with color correction and grading, it's kind of a push-pull thing where you add something and then you kind of try to balance it back and forth. So I went back into the shadows and did a combination of raising the darks and also over here in the curves tool, I applied the low soft, which just kind of creates a lower roll off of the shadows. And that helps start to create this sort of milkier shadows, which you can especially see down here, before, after, before, after. Brighten those up a little bit, and you'll see more of that as we go. I'm just doing it in layers. And then from here, I apply the overall color tone, which, turn that on there. You can see we're starting to get there. This was one of the bigger adjustments. And if I bounce back and forth, you can see we're heading in that direction. And that was done by simply going in here, keying her skin tones and a select part of the image here, as well as applying the blur radius to soften the key and also applying a denoise. So we don't see any of that kind of strange noise that's kind of jittering around sometimes when you don't do that to a key. And again, it created the effect of going from here to here. So before, after. Okay, and so then once I keyed her skin tones, I then went into the basic color wheels and I did just a very small adjustment here in the gain, drop that down a little bit, along with the color temperature. I warmed it up, that's where you see that heavy shift. And I also pushed the tint a little bit towards the magenta and a combination of those two, it's what took us from here to here. And you can see that the look is kind of coming together. And then another thing I also did here is in the, again, in the HDR tools, I went through and raised just the lighter part of the image, which is the highlights. So if I turn that on before, after, before, after, you can see it's just a little pop in the highlights here. Before, after, there we go. And if you wanna see what exact portion that was, it was these this section here of the image. If I just hold down, it'll show you what areas I kind of, before, after, raise the exposures just a touch. And if we compare it to this one here, you can see that they're sort of getting a little bit closer. We're not completely done with it yet, but you can see that it's heading in that direction. Okay, and then from there, I went and just added a little bit of shaping to it because I wanted her to be the focus. And that was just with a very basic vignette here in the windows. Adjusted it, inverted, and then this portion on the outside, I darkened it. 
by going into the just overall exposure and lower the overall exposure there. And then from here what I did is was one of the heavier adjustments. I simply created a window here on the left part of the image and I did the OFX plugin called Glow and I made an adjustment to the shine threshold and the spread to create this look because I wanted to kind of give it this kind of soft and let me go to full screen again before after before after because I wanted to give the highlights here especially in the window this kind of kind of glowy kind of 1980s California look to it and rather than this dark pit on the left side I just applied the glow made the adjustments to give the overall image this kind of softer sunlight look to it. At the end, it was pretty easy. I just kind of looked at the two, compared them, and I applied an overall looks adjustment before, after, before, after, and that was a very easy going into the basic color wheels, the primary color wheels. I warmed up the shot a touch overall, and then I brought down the overall exposure and then the combination of those two brings us from here to here. Before, after, and again you can see that overall we start off here and now we're here through these different nodes and if I compare the two you can see how they are close. It'll always be nearly impossible to have two shots look identical unless they're shot on the same lenses, same gear, same lighting setup, all that stuff of course. But with this being a totally different shot that's actually a pretty compressed shot, I think it came out pretty well. So there you go from the show physical, a warmer kind of softer sunlight California style look. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, ask in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.